Hello guys and welcome to this series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to look at the introduction to cookies during session management. So let's begin. First of all from our previous videos we know that HTTP is a stateless protocol. That means it does not retain any session information between client and server. The communication between client and server is not bind by a session and no two requests are interconnected in any way. For the server, every requests are parsed individually. Now let's take two different scenarios to understand the requirements of cookies for the session management. Now in the first case scenario, let's say the web application is serving a page which is common to all the user or all the client. Irrespective of who is making the request, the response will remain the same. For example, consider the login page which is hosted by the website. Now, for the login page, the response for all the requests will remain the same. Even if I make the request or you make the request or any other user or any other computer or client make the request, the response will always remain the same. Now, in this particular case, the server or the web application is not required to identify each of the requester individually or uniquely. So in this particular case, we don't need any session because for the same request that is slash login, the response will remain the same for all the clients or for all the individual user. But now let's see the another case in which the user needs to get the information about his profile. So he is making the request to slash profile. Now, based on the user or who the user is, the server is required to send the response. For example, for the request is my profile, then this web application need to return the unique data depending on who is or which particular user is asking for the data. Similarly, if there are three users or four users or any number of users for the same request that is my profile, the web application is required to send the response based on the user who is asking for the data or asking for the requests. Now in these particular cases, the server or the web application is required to uniquely identify each of the user. Now for some time, let's say there is no concept of session management or cookies. So how it will work? So when I will ask for the page that is my profile, then the server will ask for the username and password. Once I authenticate to the server, then it will return the response. Now let's say after some time I need the access to the settings page. So I will ask for the settings that is slash settings and again web application will require to know who is actually making the requests since it does not contain any session information. So again it will ask for the username and password and then if we are authenticated successfully, it will give the settings page which will be unique to that particular user. So the point here is that for every request, if the response need to be unique, then every time the user will require to authenticate to the web application. So if you request five different things, then you will have to authenticate to the web application five different times. To solve this problem, we have the concepts of cookies in HTTP protocol. To understand it, let's start from the beginning. First of all, you will request a page, for example, slash login and the web application in response will ask you to authenticate to the server or authenticate to the web application. Now, once you will give the username and password, the web application will check whether the credentials given is correct or not. If the credentials are correct, then it will generate a random string, which is known as the cookies in our case, and it will send the cookies in the response headers. Now, along with creating the cookies, it will create an entry in a database stating that this user has this particular cookies. So whenever in any request in its header, if this cookie is coming up, it means this particular user that is the cookie associated with that user is asking for the data. Now, another point when the web application send the cookies to the browser, then the browser store it into its memory. All right. So next time, let's say we are making the request to the my profile. So in that case, what browser will automatically do? 
it will get that cookie and also insert it into the request headers and now when the request will reach to the web application it will pass the request and it will see the cookies now again with the cookie value it can see in its database that this particular user is trying to get the profile data or trying to get this particular request so what happened in this case the user is not again authenticating to the server the browser automatically attaching a value as one of the header and then it is sending to the web application and web application in its database is checking that this particular cookies has been assigned to which particular user and based on the cookies the response will be sent now we can take the same scenarios for the multiple users also where for every users or for every client the cookie value will be unique to them so whenever the request is coming with that particular cookie the web application can find the equivalent user and with this approach the user is also not required to authenticate to the server again and again so that's all today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video